shirt slaps, now I'm in a range, no Cadillac I'm taking off like a rocket, I got this beat in my pocket I keep your heart dropping, come on man yeah, that's 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 I believe in Brandy, and I don't know brand new yet I don't mind you rapping, but not to the point where there is no Brandy I'm not saying I want to be a rapper, I'm not trying to do that I'm just trying to find another way to express myself. And if you listen to me rapping on Timberland's project or anything else that I've done, it's so natural. Be careful with Brandon. I know. Yeah, be careful. I know. People are used to the soul, R&B side of it. You can rap and have your fun, but we need, we need to focus to on, on, on the R&B stuff. I feel that. But I think if done right, I really believe that it can work. I really do. I don't want people to feel like it's a gimmick. The look has to be right. The video has to be right. And it has to be new. It has to be something that I've never done before. Meeting the gym. Let I'm not only so. Don't let your office collect dust. And you cousin, I will not, honey. You gonna see me in that office on days I'm off. Okay. Cause this office is off the chain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we in the crew, we hear about the barbershop. Alright, man. Knockout is my crew. Knockout Entertainment is my lane. My crew is a little crazy sometimes. Yeah. First you got Reggie Ramsey. That's my cousin. He's also the one who's got me in trouble with the van situation. Trey Sinatra. That's my DJ. Shorty Mac. Shorty Mac is my home boy. You know what I'm saying? I've been growing up with Shorty Mac since I was 13. Like, we've been rolling tough. You always gotta keep your family around no matter what. Well, yeah, so I came up here to have a meeting with the homies just cause we gotta step it up, man. I'm having some issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Getting a lot of slack from my advisors. We've been all out of control. The car getting towed. All the look like that. Like we gotta up, we gotta tone it down some. I thought we need to crank it up. Crank it up. I'm right with you. I'm frustrated and upset. I want to know what's going on. I can't do everything. You see, I did what I had to, Reggie. Who came through? Who came? Your boy made sure we here so we can have this conversation. I'm doing what I need Not to do. Boy. I'm doing what I need to do. Coming up here ain't what I'm talking about. No, I can't have the conversation. Then what are we talking about? No, I know, but, but you know what we, I've been saying? We gotta go hard, Let's man. go. Let's go. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to take it to Mars, Jupiter, anywhere. I'm ready. I'm ready. Astronaut ready, baby. Shorty Mac, what are you talking about? See, this other stuff is crap. I don't even like playing. Anybody put me on stage, I don't know. Shorty Mac, shut the f up. I'm ready. You come what are you talking, talking about? Yes, I can see what my mom is angry about. But this is my crew, and I'm loyal to my crew. Yo, I still got to deal with this van. Alright, we're going to get the van out. Because the, the, the bill keep going up, dog. Coming up. Being in the public eye is a lot of pressure. And later. You gonna make it? Yeah, I'm good. Me and Reggie picked up the van because we personally wanted to deliver it back to my mama. My bad, man. I don't think we're gonna be able to get out, man. Oh, no, that ain't nothing. We good. Make it? Yeah, we're good. Me and Reggie, we both went over there and we picked up the van because we personally wanted to deliver it back to my mama. I wanted my cousin Reggie to be there because I wanted him to apologize for his actions and make everything right. We're running errands in it. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. This one looks so sick on you. I this is so what cool. I love is that. That's like my that. favorite thing. Sherry Lada and, and Dalmo are my crew. We shop, we talk, we hang out. We're just really good friends. Since they're shopping and there's nothing in my size, I might as well have a little glass or two or three. Okay. Do you know how to open that? Can you go get yeah, this? I don't want to injury. I have to see your store. That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Shay is my best friend. She has been in my life for 15 years. She's very aggressive. She can be very over the top. But other than that, she's an awesome friend. <gasps> That's a cute dress. Oh, I like that dress. Oh, I like that. 
I don't know. You don't like your blue dress? No, I need to I need to get into color. I do. You do. But it's just really hard. But, but your skin tone with color of man. As soon as I met Lada, I knew that she was supposed to be my friend. She's just loving and she's just such a beautiful person. This is badass. You know what's crazy? It's sad that I have to ask you. About Yes, because my fashion sense has completely left. No, but it's okay. It's coming back. It's back. Like, like you didn't put it today, right? By yourself, yeah. Did I do good at today? You look hot today. Domo started out a fan. I invited him to a studio session that I had, and from there we connected. And I love him because he's honest. He really loves me. He really wants the best for me. This is not, that's I'm a, not that's wearing a free grab. Are you crazy? Tell me that these are not ice cold. They're not hot. They're not hot. That's the problem. Wow. <laughs> Which way? This way. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cute. Give it to us. Friends, that is sexy. Oh, I like that. I, like I like it, it too. Brandy, that's a, that's a winner. To the family. Like, this type of makes us look bad. You know what I mean? This type makes the whole crew look bad. Hey, man. My bad, man. I got the van and found it. It uh, makes us look irresponsible. And this is my mama van, dog. This is my Norwood van. Norwood van. The Norwood van. Treated like the Norwood van. We got exactly. kids. Exactly, man. Children. Students. You know? It smells like <laughs> in here, man. <laughs> Like, where are we going? Here, Robertson. I was going to get something to eat. I think. Well, I know, but. Ready up here, Shana! Ready! How y'all doing? Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Ready up here, Shana. Being in the public eye is a lot of pressure. I mean, you have to always look your best. You can't say the wrong thing. But you know what? I think I'm a lot better at it now than I was when I was 15. Trip, I'm a little worried about facing mom. Even though I fixed her van, I worked everything out. My mom doesn't let these things go too easy. The van is back. I just hope Reggie's prepared to take the lead. Mama! Coming up. I'm really nervous about the Grammy. I think there is a possibility that it could be something between Flo and I. I'm not concerned about you going. You'll become subject to the media's criticism. Why add drama that doesn't need to be there? I need to make a decision now and later. I wasn't going to borrow the van. But in order to pack the party in our transportation vehicle, it's got to be the van. I'm just going to party. No, no, no. So me and Reggie picked up the van and we dropped it off at mom's house. And I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Uh, van is back. Mama! <laughs> Look, your van, man. Safe and sound. Well, why you didn't park it right there? I mean, this is where I parked it. I know, but I need you to park it right there, right? Because that's where it should stay. Please. My friend and I, when we were younger, we went and stole the car. I planned it. I drove the car. I initiated the whole thing. I was young. I was trying to have fun, but I was having stupid fun. Stealing a car is not the thing to do. So when we got back, my mom let me off the hook, and she blamed it all on my friend. That's just how it is. Reggie, you know just as well as I know that if something were to happen to that van, or to you, it's going to be ultimately his responsibility. What? 100% right. You know, I took the van, got it and found it, and I'm sorry. Look at me straight when I'm talking. Okay, that's because I'm bad. Because, you know, you can tell a person by eye to eye. Yeah. You know, you guys are adults, for God's sake. Well, I messed up. Well, at least you didn't say Ray told you to do it. Everybody always say Ray told us to do that. And I'm just saying that even if Ray tells you to do certain things, say no. Oh, I hear you, 100%. That's all I'm saying, just you know. That's it. I felt like it was a real strong effort and Reg wanted to come over here and actually drop it off with me. 
in spite of how he knows how I feel. Okay. That took the, well, that, took, that was time, not the We absolutely still are.